Instagram, check in all the pictures that we're going to be talking about today. We had a lot of stuff going on this yes, week. Yes, our trending yes. topic this week mm -hmm. is Tim's. Yes, custom Tim's. It is a big trend now. Now, of course, you know, it all started in New York with the big Tim's thing. I've never been a big Tim's person. Really? No, not really. But I, but I can appreciate the artistry. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I get it now. Yeah. I see the real artistic. They put all the characters and stuff yeah, on their yeah, shoes. It's beautiful. And, yeah, actual artwork on the Tim's. So I, I get it. I get it. I, was, I, I took a pair of my Tim's and I was like, what's that draw on this? Just, just make sure, like, yeah, yeah. you gotta have the artistic. It would not look like <laughs> So, I, hey, hats yeah. off to them. To each his own. Yeah, it's but beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I'll try it. We'll try it. You guys look on the pictures that we have on Instagram. You tell us if you like that style or not. <laughs> <laughs> but on the trend of sneakers, we have to shout out this guy. Um, what's his name? Chase Reed. He is 16 and he lives in Harlem and he has started the world's first sneaker pawn shop. Wow. What an amazing that's, idea. That's amazing. Because to be that young too. So. Yeah, to be that young and also because at that age, that's what boys have. Like they have a bunch of thousand dollars worth of sneakers, especially the real sneaker well, heads. Not yeah. my child. <laughs> Don't bring him out. He goes, Mama, why are you saying on the no, TV? No, no, no. <laughs> But he, is, he had such an array of shoes. In fact, he asked his dad for some money one time for some shoes. His dad said, well, you let me hold one of your tennis shoes, and then when you get the money back, you get the tennis shoes back. That sparked oh, the idea. Oh, okay. That sparked the idea. So now he has his pawn shop. They take their shoes there. You know, They get to hold it, just like any other pawn shop. Right. Really innovative. He actually started it with his own shoe collection. He sold his whole shoe collection worth $30,000. See, that's too much. Isn't that crazy? But that's all I see the paper shoes. But still, that means that's his collection. So he sold it. He started with his expensive own shoes for a kid. Super. But he sold it and he made a company out of it. So that shows you, man. Yeah. Just the entrepreneurial spirit was shouting you out, honey. You killed that. That was pretty um, cool. And another guy who put up some major bucks was my boy, yeah. Drake. I know, that's my homie, though. But he plays around with Drake. Make a choice. What I Make know. a choice. I know, because I have to pick, right? I like yes. both. Bump everybody. Seems like they're playing. Um, he, he put up $75,000 to a school in Philadelphia that actually Meek Mill went to. Our yeah, school. he didn't even go to. So um, that was pretty cool that he even did that. Because it wasn't his school. He didn't go to. Yeah. But he cared enough. It was a troubled school, and he invested the money in it to get them a studio. The studio has actually been up for a while now, but they finally got an instructor yeah. to Time down. teach the course. Yeah, and now that they've done it, the kids have something to do, and they actually, the, the problems have gone down a little bit. So it's something that he really did That's for the community. Yeah, that but I showed you just that little things that yeah. these celebrities do you know, just to make I mean, big That's all it's neat is kids to have something to do. Exactly. So yeah. Get them off the streets. Get bored, you start doing stuff. Yeah, give them something different to do. So shout out to Drake for that. And another YMCMB artist that we have to get at right now for our first Bye Felicia. Bye, bye, bye. Man, Felicia. it's actually for Lil Wayne, but we're not Bye Felicia him. Somebody <laughs> called and did a prank call on him that was very horrible. Said that they were at his house and that they shot up four people and they had the police hysterical. You can hear the whole phone call. Oh, yeah, I, I seen it on the news. It, like, was, it, was, it was a complete hoax, but it was just, it's not Birdman. funny because. I know, I know, and everybody assumed. But you know, Lil <laughs> Wayne already has legal trouble, so that's what made it like not funny because he really could have gotten yeah, 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 trouble yeah. doing that. Yeah. So, to you, sir, bye, Alicia. Well, my bye, Felicia, is Tiana and her man. Yes. What's his name? Uh, Iman Schubert. Schubert. <laughs> we we never say Schubert or Schubert. Schubert. It's one of them. He plays with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes. 
And they say Empire is about their life. Hakeem yeah. and Tiana on they the show. They believe that those characters are based off of them, but we know that there's a few celebrities that feel like the show is based Puff off of them. Daddy thought it was about his family, including P. Diddy. Everybody's their drug lord. Hey, whatever. Monique your show. She's living in a play cookie. Yeah, so there's a lot of confusion it's going on. Empire is blowing up right now. But I don't think Empire cares. So, so <laughs> bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Oh, y'all. Y'all get to go. I feel like Tiana, you could be dressing and I, I'm, I'm all with it. I'm going to rinse them. There's a lot happening going on in Atlanta. We got the Any Mixer next week. Yes. Mm-hmm. On Wednesday yes. night, March 18th at the Sweet Lounge, and they will be showing Empire. Nice. How about that? The nice. season finale is next week, so you, you can check that out yeah. at Sweet Lounge from 6 to 9, 375 Lucky Street, B103 and be in the building. Hello. Also, the fair is here at Yay. the Bray Stadium, Turner Field, so you can go there and take I'm your boots. Take wheels. your boots. Are you? I am. It's romantic to me. I like to get on the Ferris wheel and get stuck at the top. Am I geek for that? Is that romantic? Or yeah, with a guy. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about it. We have a great show coming up for you. Make sure you stick around. It's my magazine podcast. We'll be right back. You don't have to know. Okay. If, it's right. mi- if it's mystery, it, it is mysterious. Y'all just gonna have to guess. They're gonna make up all kind of acronyms for that now just because you won't tell <laughs> Now, before we get into my bad, your series, you started off in advertising. Yes. How was that? Amazing. Amazing. As a copywriter, yeah. it was great to be paid just to come up with ideas. Yeah. It was wonderful. Have you ever seen the show Mad Men? Yes. I, that is my only reference to advertising at all. But it seems like it's a button job. All you do all day is be creative and come up with ways to promote products and stuff like that. Do you think that that really helped give you a foundation for you transitioning into actually becoming your own author? It was, it was part of it. Okay. So, I know we're going to get into my bad, but yes. part of my bad mm-hmm. is about quickies and episodes. Yeah. And so they're just truncated stories. Oh, really? And about 16 pages. Okay. Yeah. And so in advertising, you can't write too long. Yeah. It has yeah. to be quick and catchy. Yeah. Yeah. So I've learned the craft of how to get in and get out. Get the attention. That's right. That's and, awesome. And build momentum and make you want more. Right. You know, that's what I do. So well, were you were you nervous to, to break away from the advertising into the own into the writing or did it kind of just flow naturally? It was a natural progression. Okay. So I'm also finishing up my master's in creative writing. Right. And so now I have a combination of writing long mm-hmm. and short. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm a character writer. Yes. Yeah. So I love to tell stories through the eyes of of people who have really funky kind of interesting lives. Right. So if you see, if, if I think about it from the aspect of like a series of shows, would you ever think about like they turn into a movie? Would you ever think about getting to the novel point or you know to I'm working on it. You thinking about it? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> now where does the inspiration from my bad come from? Like what what first of all, what is the theme of it? What what to you is like the theme of my bad? You know, my bad is really just short episodic moments. Okay. In a person's life. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a way to share a little bit and tell a little bit about what's really happening. So it's candid, okay. but unapologetic. Right. I mean, there are no apologies. My bad is not the apology to everybody yeah. else. It's just... It's more like my bad. That's right. It's <laughs> like happens. And, you know, I was practicing in the car. Yeah. I should be saying, is it my bad? Is it my bad? It's my bad. My bad. With attitude. So, keep it moving. Are these, are these personal experiences that go into the stories? or Not all are personal. Okay to LSH, okay. but some are personal in, in some of the lives of people that I know. Okay. Fernando is an interesting one. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, uh, talk about Fernando, girl. He, Fernando sounds like a freak. What are you talking about? You know, you know, Fernando is that guy, ladies, Uh-oh. that you meet. And I overheard a conversation, because that's what LSH does. We, okay. You know, I listen to the women. And it's that guy you may not be really attracted to at first for whatever the reason. Something is a little off. Yeah. You can't see yourself with him at all. But then you get to talk to him and you get to know him. 
and then it becomes a turn on. It's <laughs> right. like, you know it's not gonna last long. Yeah. But it's it's great for the moment. Right. And everybody can relate to that. See, okay, so I really like that. Because I mean, clearly the story is something that women just readily uh, like you said, it's candid. It's not like you're getting fantastical with it. This is stuff that really happened. Yeah. So do you ever have like women come up to you and be like, you're telling my story. Like, oh, you know what? <laughs> so here's the thing, Rolo. My bad is 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 the book. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so LSH Nights, which is so happened in this, you know, it's happening in, right. in terms of our in your moment, in your face. Right. That's where I get a, the feedback from the real audience. Okay. Okay. So that's where at the end of our live storytelling, right. we get women who talk about how liberating and, and invigorating and truthful it mm -hmm. is. And so, yeah, it, we got some interesting characters in there. <laughs> we got a brother named Brooks that's really awesome. He wow. Oh. Is, that, is that the cousin? Is that the crazy yeah. cousin? And so, and so at the end, women are like, okay, listen, are, are you bringing Brooks back in the next series? Because he's odd. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So okay, so is that is that part of the dramatic readings? Is that what you do? What what is a dramatic reading? I mean, I, I can imagine by the name of it, but like when you portray it, do you have actors come in and do it for you? Or well, how does that work? I do. As a writer, I write everything that I that I put out. Right. But what makes it even more interesting and more dramatic is I hire professional actresses. Oh man. And they come and bring the characters to life. So they go in and out of these 18 characters that I have in this series. Right. Bad. And they, they perform in front of live audiences. Right. And, and, and the members, mostly women, but there are men also, uh, they come and they, they react to it. Okay. Really, did that happen? And then I do a Q&A. Right. At the end. So right. then they get a chance to interact with LSH to so, find out, you know, what's really going on in your head. Right. And you just did a show in Atlanta. Yes. How'd that go? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yes. Much love from Atlanta <laughs> I went to college. I'll take you to Clark Atlanta. Yes, that's right. Hey. So I see you. Clarkites came out. That was, it was wonderful. Had some friends come in from out of town. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. So, so what's, what's the next step for LSH here? The next series. The next series? The next series. I'm working on that now. Uh, the novel, I'm working on that. You know, something a little bit more in depth. Okay. So you can get into one character, but that has a lot of great quirks going on in her life. Get, it, get even more in touch with the character. Yeah. Draw them out a little bit more. Yeah, more. That's awesome. Where can, they, where can they follow your stuff? Where can they find you on online or website? Yeah, so okay. our website is LSH Books, LSHbooks.com. Um, we're also on Facebook, LSH Books, and Twitter, LSH Books. That's so, so I was so glad you came through. I got my little copy right here. I know you like it. Be jealous. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> check out her book, My Bad. We're going to be sure to get you back on the show. I want to get you out to another one of your events. I would love to Maybe we'll have her come and do a dramatic reading. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep tuned in, it's Inspire Magazine Podcast. Right, I said hip rock, Miss Raindrop Lopez. How you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Every time I see you, you are beautiful. Your spirit oh. is beautiful. The last time I saw you was at the Who's Who Award. Yeah, yes. you got an award. Actually, she actually presented the award. Me. She was presenting me with an award, <laughs> and my mom was sitting at the table, and she was talking to my mom the entire time. Plotting, plotting. I'm sitting there wondering what are they talking about. <laughs> then she goes up to present the award, and my mom goes up with her to present it. It was beautiful. It yes. was a beautiful moment. She's crying. We got tears. We got her all on camera, y'all. Y'all should see it. But it was it was great. Your mom's I told I told your mom I saw presenting and she's like, Can I go up there with you? And I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Because it may never happen again. She Aww. does not like talking in front that's of people. That's what she said. Yeah, so I thank you for that. Oh that's cool. That's cool. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you was an army brat. Yeah. So did you travel a lot? Well, we lived in, we were already based out of Philadelphia, so that was our base, but we lived in Jersey, Panama, um, let's see, Kansas, um, my dad went to Germany, but we didn't go, 
So I think those are the most places that we went um, as far as him being in the military. But even outside of that, we just moved around a lot. Even in okay. Philly, like oh, okay. we moved around a lot. So your style is very out there. <laughs> really? <laughs> do you think? <laughs> you know what no. So do you think that you, the traveling and your culture? Do you think that oh, blended? Oh, I was really joking. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. To me, it's really not out there, but I get how it's out there for other people because you don't really see people dressed like this on a normal day, but I get it all the time. So do like, you go like to the grocery store? Yes, I was just, 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 just going to say, I go to the grocery store and people are like, what are you dressed up as? Or they'll say, what are you dressed up for? Are you going uh, to the parade? And I'm like, no. No, it's Monday. Like every day. <laughs> or they're like, Monday. where did you come from? Home. Where are you going? Back home. home. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, who inspires you? Wow, a lot of people inspire me. Um, people that are out there doing their own thing, not following the crowd. Uh, my sister inspires me a lot. You know, a lot of people ask me as far as music goes, but she actually inspires me more um, as far as it, to be like a better person. You know what I mean? Right, uh, right. Music is like secondary, but she was just a really good person. She taught me not to judge people, accept them for who they were. Right. She would never judge me because I would be wearing some real crazy stuff, you know, when I was younger. Right. She would just let me do my thing, you know, so she kind of taught me to be a better person. So I know that um, you're getting ready to have um, a birthday. Yes. For left eye. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, every year we want to celebrate her, so we do have something either on her birthday or around it. It's May 27th. Oh, okay. So this year it will be on the 27th or around that time. And we also have the Left Eye Music Fest. And that's that. Yes. When and I for the Sanford Oh my goodness. The museum was one. I love that. I mean, I walked through there and just looked at all, and, and all the writings yes. about every, every picture. It, it's a yeah. beautiful thing. Yeah, so this... Last year was our third year having the Left Eye Music Fest, okay. and that was the first year we had, we called it a reflection room. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so you can see like a lot of her pieces, yeah. you know, personal stuff, stuff that she made. Clothes. Yes, clothing that she wore on like award shows. I think her last outfit she performed with TLC, that was in the large shadow box. So right. yeah, we intend to have that. Um, at most of the events that we do, including um, her birthday. I'm so trying to get them to get a museum for her. Yeah. We need to just get a building or, or and make a museum. inside of a museum that's already, already there. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. So, let's see. What uh, what do you got coming up? I know you got something. Well, um, I'm working on a clothing line. Actually, I'm working on like three clothing lines. So, I can dress like... <laughs> I have on one of the samples I love from shirt. Yes, and this clothing line is the I Rain one, and that's featuring me and Lisa. Okay. So she's on it. My this is one of my cartoon characters on it. Um, you got left eye hip rock. And then there's a clothing line entitled I Legacy, which would just feature Lisa. Okay. You know, it'll be all about Lisa. Oh, okay. Here's one of the watches. Oh, nice. If you get a close oh, that's watch. beautiful. Yeah. The pictures inside mm -hmm. the watch. That's cool. And then here's one of my watches. So I also make these rain furries. I'm um, naming them now, so I'm open for names. <laughs> and now I, I, I realize you're getting into hosting. Yes, I host. So also. you'll be hosting the Who's Who for teens. Yes, that's Six Flags. I yeah, in May. Yes, in May. Okay, cool. So that'd be good, Six Flags. And also, we're going to have to get you in our magazine. Inspired oh, magazine. yeah, of we'll course. We'll shoot. Definitely. Make our magazine colorful. <laughs> <laughs> So you yeah. have to um, put in the beginning some sunglasses. People. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I see you was looking at our product when you sat down right here. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful more. Have you used the product before? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think Beautiful Amore was one of our vendors at the Left Eye Music Fest. Oh, year. okay. Yeah. I'm very familiar it's, with it's her products. Product. I love her products. I don't use all natural stuff anyway. Oh, okay, great. So tell everybody where they can find you, emails, IGs, all that good stuff. Everyone can find me online. You can go to my website, which is raindropmusic.net. You can use com if you want to. All the social media is Raindrop Lopez, but you have to spell it right. And it's <laughs> R-E-I-G-N-D-R-O-P. And Lopez is with an S and not a Z. There you have it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Once again, take your mom and say hi. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Y'all stay tuned for more Inspire Magazine podcasts.
Inspire Magazine podcast, y'all. I am so excited to bring forth our next artist, Miss Jean Ray, performing her song, Love. You might want to hear this. Boy, I'm tired of fighting. I'm missing what we once had. You say I gave up trying. Tell me what would make you think that I would be here right now if the love was gone and I threw in the towel. No hands in the air, no white flag waving my heart. Works great. I love the oatmeal scrub. Yes, I'll try the skincare line. You guys look her up on Facebook, beautiful more. And also our beautiful cover for the 26th issue. We just had our big party at Cirque. Isn't it cute? It's a beautiful <laughs> shoe shot by Quadir and Thomas. Yes. Um, we had a great time with that. And also to our stylist today, Miss yes, Ashley B of Modern Flair. I'll keep her I'll keep her guess looking fly. Oh yeah. Yes. Always. So listen, we want to keep bringing all the top acts back, okay? So if you guys want to be part of the show, be sure to send in your EPK to atlinspired at gmail.com. If you're a stylist, if you're a makeup artist, if you're a owner, if you're a artist, owner, poet, want to wear your clothes, we buy that life. Artist. Yeah, all that. <laughs> be sure to send in your bio and pictures of what you do to atlinspired. Dot com. We'll check it out, see what you guys are all about. Be sure to tune in next time, guys. Don't just be, be, be inspired. inspired.